In Nigeria, one organization has launched a book aimed at tackling corruption. It's being marketed for young people with the idea of shaping mindsets from an early age. Emeka's Money tells the story of a corrupt government official and the negative impact his actions have on society. CGTN's Kaleche Mekalam has more. Sadly, after Uche had paid a bribe, there was not enough money left to build the road well. It's not a Uche regular classroom session. When people don't use the money that they're supposed to use to give us either roads or lights or even schools, what happens, right? You see what is happening. So it's corruption. Do you think corruption is good or bad? But an anti-corruption campaigner, Onyinye O, is introducing a new dimension to Nigeria's curriculum. We followed her for a group reading of her recently launched anti-corruption book, State governors control a lot of money. The book is the first of its kind. It aims at shaping the mindsets of these learners to reject corruption. The book was launched just a few weeks back and it's quickly courting interest in classrooms. When the governor was bribing Uche, I, at the beginning of the book, I thought the governor was a nice person, a very calm person. But then we found out that he isn't a very reliable person. He doesn't really understand the word loyalty, probably. The Center for Teaching and Learning is a private school in the capital, Abuja. Two of Onyinye's children also study here, and she donated some copies of the book to the school. The negative impact of corruption is felt nearly in all spheres of life here. Yet, there is no or very little attempt at changing the mindsets of the population. Corruption is literally normalized here. I'm living here in Nigeria and trying to change the mindset of Nigerians, starting from you know, catching them young as children. Um, it provides a tool for us as educators to use to have the conversation in language that children can understand and relate to about what is corruption and what is wrong about corruption, what makes it wrong. In Transparency International's Corruption Perception Index, Nigeria ranked 148 out of 180 countries. Bribery, theft of public funds and preferential award of contracts are just a few of the corrupt acts in government. For instance, UK's International Development and Aid Agency, DFID, says that between 2008 and 2014, as much as $32 billion of public funds were swindled, and the effect of that is poor or non-existent service delivery for the vast majority of Nigerians. And that explains the relevance of the anti-corruption book. For now, the book can be bought off Amazon. But that limits access to the book by most Nigerian schools. Nigeria loses billions of dollars to corruption every year, and Onyinye wants her book to circulate in all Nigerian schools. So she's currently looking for funders to fund free access to the book. Educating young people, you know, hasn't really been you know, done as much as it should, or, you know, I mean, people do it in trickles or have one or two events from time to time, but I feel that now is the time to have a bit more sustained um, campaign around the need to catch them young, which is why Step Up Nigeria, the NGO I run, has launched the Catch Them Young initiative using the books that I've written to educate, you know, children. President Buhari was voted into office almost four years ago on account of his promise to fight corruption. Under his administration, several anti-corruption trials have been initiated, but hardly any have been conclusive. And his critics say he has turned a blind eye on corrupt officials within his quarters. Kelechi Mekalam, CGT and Abuja, Nigeria.